Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel and the WrestleMania 38 Night 2 edition for the, I believe, the 3rd of uh, April 2022. Um, Jesse Jen, uh, James Decker performs America the Beautiful. Triple H starts off the show. He enters wearing a suit, hugs his daughters in the front row, and shakes hands with Gabe, uh, Gable Stevenson. And then the crowd's chanting for Triple H. He basically enters and say and says that uh, he's showing love the best way he knows how, uh, and that is to welcome everybody to WrestleMania. Leaves his boots in the middle of the ring on the microphone, hugs his family, and uh, does that again before leaving. Gable Stevenson waved to the crowd, and he's in the front row on this particular evening. Uh, triple Threat Tag Team Matt, Randy Orton, and Riddle defeat the Street Profits and Alpha Academy to retain the Raw Tag Team Championships. 11 minutes, 33 seconds. Uh, three legal participants in the ring at any given moment. Ford does a amazing dive. Goes for the Stinger Splash, but he leaps right over Chad Gable and does a flip dive, wiping out everyone outside the ring. Gable follows with a moonsault onto the group as well. Spots for the second spots, but it is WrestleMania, so if you're going to do them, do them here. Alpha Academy works over Riddle for a while. Ford remains on the outside. Ford then goes back after Gable, but then turns him inside out with a monkey flip. Angela Dawkins makes a tag, but Otis uh, squishes him and then tries to remain in control. Riddle then fights things off... Um, of Gable and Dawkins before making a tag off to Randy Orton. Um, then we get Orton hitting Ford with a clothesline, a power slam, and a backdrop uh, on a table. Gable then eats a backdrop on a table as well. Orton and Riddle give Ford and Dawkins draping DDTs. They set up the RKO to the excitement of the crowd, but then he gets yanked into the crowd by Gable and Otis. Alpha Academy gives Dawkins a Steiner Riser. Street Profits gives Gable a Blockbuster for a near fall. Ford then goes to the top, but Riddle brings him back down with an awesome RKO. Gable comes out off the top, and Orton brings him down with an RKO for the pinfall victory. Decent enough match. Crowd likes the match, and I guess that's what matters in these types of situations. After the match, Ford and Dawkins hand the red cups to Orton and Riddle. Ford then pours something special into one of the cups. Ford invites Gable Stevenson to the ring to join them. Uh, before they could take a drink, Chad smacks the cup out of Steven's hand. And then uh, Chad tells him to shush. Stevens then takes the mic's mic away and gives him an overhead suplex. And then that's that. Uh, Bobby Lashley defeats almost 6 minutes 35 seconds. This was a slug. Comes across, uh, almost looks gigantic, even next to Lashley. And then Lashley uh, smacks his opponent in the face, almost charges him in the corner. Lashley kicks his leg pretty stiffly. Lashley then goes for the hurt lock, but almost simply drops and powers out of the clothesline. Lashley then tries a high cross, but almost catches him. Drops him like nothing matters here. Then there's a pretty rough spot where almost drives Lashley into the corner and hits the back of Lashley's head. On the ring post, Lashley seems okay, although a scary spot nonetheless. Lashley then battles out of the bear hug and then hits a snap vertical suplex, pops up into the crowd. Lashley follows up with a spear, follows by a regular spear, and then gets uh, the match um, over with. Video features, charity work for the company. Uh, Pat McCaffrey is, is, is on commentary with Michael Cole despite having a match later tonight. Long video package of the night. Then we go to Anything Goes Match on New Knoxville defeating Sami Zayn. Some people love this. I hate it. It's a waste of time. I don't like celebrities for the sake of celebrities, and that's what this feels like. Knoxville is announced as being two cheeseburgers away from 175 pounds. Zayn immediately hits a haluva kick. Zane uh, brags to the friends of Johnny Knoxville in the front row. Uh, Zane gets sprayed in the face with a fire extinguisher. Zane fights him off and then goes for uh, shots with a baking sheet, a crutch, and a garbage can. Uh, Zane then pulls out table from under the ring and covers covers it with mousetraps. Zane then figures at Knoxville 
quit it there, Knoxville attacks him with a garbage can lids and sets up a table in the corner. He then tries to suplex, but Zane counters that with putting Knoxville through the table. An exploder for near fall. Um, Party Boy enters the ring and does his thing. Uh, he removes his shirt and sorry, pants, revealing a thong. Um, Zane is disgusted by this. Dex and Knoxville uses a distraction to apply a schoolboy for a near fall. Zane then pushes Naked Boy under the ring. Uh, Wee Man pops out from under the ring and attacks Zane. He then gave Zane a body slam. The crowd popped for that. Uh, Knoxville follows up with a tornado DDT for a close near fall. Zane then goes to the top. Knoxville somehow sets off fireworks in the ring post behind him. And Zane f- falls on Knoxville following by uh, sending a, a bowling ball into the groin of Zane. He then also hits a robo foot to give Zane a low blow. He then says he could have used his own foot to do this, but chose not to. Knoxville then chases Zane with a taser, and Zane ran right into the giant swing hand. Zane didn't sell for a long time, and then follows up with a suplex. Zane then follows up with a uh, being on top again. Knoxville grabs uh, him with tongs before tossing him off into the mousetrap table. Um, then Knoxville uses the taser on Zane before unleashing the mousetrap on Zane. Uh, Knoxville then pins Zane with help from the mousetrap for the win. And the crew of the movie celebrate a uh, video of Drew McIntyre win last night. Uh, and then we go to Fatal 4-Way. Sasha Banks and Naomi defeat Queen Zelina and Carmella and Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan and Natalya Shayna Baszler to win the Women's Tag Team Championship 10-52. Uh, Banks and Naomi enter in a Lamborghini. Ripley and Banks exchange. Ripley gets the better of that. And then Banks and Morgan each hits dives in on opposite sides of the squared circle. Uh, an Italian Baszler, double team Morgan, Carmella tags herself in, and then uh, Zelina gives Morgan a code red. Ripley cuts in, breaks up the cover. Everyone jumps in, trades moves, moves, moves. Carmella begins and brings Ripley down on the top with a Rana, and then Zelina follows with a dive. Uh, Ripley and Morgan give Naomi a combo riptide backstabber. Banks breaks up the cover. Uh, Natalia and uh, Baszler double team uh, Naomi, but Morgan breaks up the cover again. Carmella stops a heart attack attempt and gives Naomi a super kick for a near fall. Banks then gives Carmella frog splash for a near fall. Banks then applies a cross face, but Zelina saves her uh, partner. Banks then wipes out Zelina with a double knee strike off the apron. Banks and Naomi hit Carmella with a combo, Glam Slam, Codebreaker, and Banks pins her for the win. Banks and Naomi are the new women's tag team champions, and I can't imagine anybody cares. Replay of The Miz and Logan Paul beating Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Uh, Dallas Cowboys player Parsons and Elliott are shown in the crowd. Edge AJ Styles video package. Uh, Edge defeats AJ Styles 24-27 Styles. Bleeding from his cheek during the entrance. Um, apparently something happened with the pyrotechnics here. Edge enters uh, on a throne and then pops out from under the ring surrounded by flames. Edge then wears black and purple. Styles wears white and blue. Styles has an early advantage uh, using a chain and hits a sliding knee. Edge gains control after getting his knee up on the springboard. 450 attempt, Styles then tries fighting back, but Edge dry, drives him into the buckle. Styles comes back with a suplex into the buckle. Styles then nails Edge, but Edge then goes after his injured shoulder, trading reversals. Edge then applies an STF. Styles gets rope, rope, bla- rope breaks. Styles then avoids a spear, hits a springboard DDT. Styles follows up with a rack bomb. Edge then... It's an impaler DDT for near fall. Styles then comes up with a snap German suplex. They trade shots. Uh, Styles hits a Pele kick, countering into submission again until Edge applies a crossface. Styles fights out and hits the edge of magic. Edge hits the edge of magic 
Edge also hits a power bomb, um, and then uh, Styles hits a vertical suplex, and uh, onto the ring apron, which looks extremely painful. Barely beating the ten count, Styles sets up the phenomenal forearm, but is momentarily distracted by Damian Priest, who randomly appears at ringside. Styles goes for the forearm. Edge hits him with a mid-air spear for the pinfall win. Priest and Edge are on the same page, and they pose together after the match. Um, probably the best match of night two. I wouldn't say the best match of the weekend by any stretch. Uh, the attendance is announced as 78,453. Uh, replays setting up uh, Big E breaking his neck here. Byron Saxton replaces McCaffrey on commentary. Sheamus and Ridge Holland with Butch defeat Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods 1 minute 44 seconds. They wear singlets like Big E. Cole says the color scheme is the same as Big E wore when he won the world title. Um, Sheamus and Holland attacked New Day during the entrance. Match starts. Kingston immediately hits Holland with the Trouble in Paradise. Sheamus breaks up the cover. Um, then Sheamus gives Kingston brogue kick outside the ring. Woods comes back at Holland with a super kick. Butch then causes a distraction, which allows Sheamus to give Woods a brogue kick. Behind the referee is back, and I gotta grab my phone. We'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. And again, it's one of those things where the 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 uh, New Day Sheamus Holland match was supposed to be on night one, but they don't know how to time their shows, so it ends up being night two. And well, it's insulting because. To go to WrestleMania for two minutes. Well, hey, I guess you could say you're on the show at least. Anyway, Undertaker enters the stage. Crowd are uh, happy for him. Then we go to airing of two commercials, plugging Peacock, and then there's a video package, upcoming match, uh, Pat McCaffrey. Defeating Austin Theory with Vince McMahon, 939. Vince enters. He introduces Theory, th future world champion. Takes a selfie with McMahon, does Theory. McMahon, uh, McCaffrey enters. Um, and then the crowd hums along with his entrance theme. McCaffrey then gets a near fall after back elbow and a rana. Crowd chance for him. Theory drops him with a backbreaker and takes over as the crowd uh, basically go after the you know, continuing to hum McCaffrey's theme. McCaffrey comes back, vertical suplex, throws Theory. Off the apron, Theory bounces back on the table. McCaffrey then puts his head set on so he could trash talk. McCaffrey then uh, throws water at Theory, but then bounces his head off the table. McCaffrey then tries a swanton, but Theory dodges it and hits a backdrop for a near fall. Theory then pushes McCaffrey off the top. McCaffrey does a backflip and lands on his feet. McCaffrey leaps... Um, on the top and gives Theory a su uh, superplex for near fall. Crowd pops big for that. Uh, Theory then dodges a punt and drops McCaffrey with a left hand. Theory then goes for the ATL. McCaffrey slips out and schoolboys for the pinfall win. Crowd goes nuts. After the match, McCaffrey calls out McMahon. McMahon takes his coat off and the crowd cheers. But then he puts it back on and the crowd boos. Mc McMahon decides to remove his coat and shirt and get in the ring. Referee does too. Um, Theory decks McCaffrey from behind. McCaffrey gets it, gets to his feet. Ref calls for the bell to start a contest. Vince McMahon defeats Pat McCaffrey. Three minutes, 44 seconds. Yes, there is a 76-year-old man on WrestleMania. And, well, hey. McCaffrey runs into a few clotheslines. McCaffrey gets to his feet. Theory trips him and crotches him using ring post. Theory hands McMahon a football. McMahon... Teases, punting it and into the crowd, but instead kicks it into the ribs of uh, Pat McCaffrey. Vince pins McCaffrey, and then somehow uh, that is enough to get the win. Theory poses around the ring while the crowd boos this. Uh, Austin's music hit, and the crowd explodes. Austin attacks Theory and gives him a stunner. Austin then uh, locked, uh, looked at McMahon, and then... He pleads with him. Austin in, um, manages to hit a stunner. Austin does his best to get him up, and it's the worst stunner ever. Austin starts laughing. Austin invites McCaffrey into the ring, and they share some beer before Austin gives him a stunner to crowd pops, and Austin posed. He waves at the crowd one last time before going home. They re-aired the Bel Air Bianca, uh, Bianca Belair 
uh, entrance from last night, and a commercial for WrestleMania 39. Reigns and Lesnar video package. Um, Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman defeats Brock Lesnar to win the Unified Universal Championship uh, at 12-17. Uh, Lesnar removes his gloves when the bell rings, and then the se that seems to worry Reigns. Um, Lesnar then is in full control start, uh, hands out a trifecta of belly-to-belly -belly suplexes. Lesnar corners Heyman, who keeps repeating, I love you, and please take me back. Uh, this is a distraction. Lesnar barely beats a 10 count back into the ring, but runs into a spear by Reigns for near fall. Reigns follows up with two Superman punches. Lesnar gets to his feet and uh, hits five straight German suplexes on Roman. Reigns slips out of the F5 attempt and hits a third Superman punch. Lesnar counters a spear into an F5 for a near fall. Lesnar then tries another F5. Reigns rakes his face. Reigns speared him into a corner but then smashes the referee in the process. Reigns follows up with a low blow. Heyman hands Reigns title belt, and Reigns clocks Lesnar in the head with it for a near fall. Reigns then runs off and runs the ropes and hits a spear to the back. Um, Lesnar knew that because he would waste time grabbing the ropes. Re Reigns then goes for the spear again. Lesnar catches him with a Kimura. Reigns then gets to the rope, rope break, but then seemed to tell Heyman that his shoulder popped out. Heyman pushed the ropes closer so Reigns could get the rope break. Lesnar then goes for the F5, but Reigns slips out and hits another spear. Uh, pinfall win. Reigns uh, posed with both belts. Match is not really uh, a big deal, but it closes the show. I assume uh, Reigns and Rock is next year's WrestleMania. But anyway, we'll be back with more right after this.